This is Daryl as a service. Do you create a lot of documentation with screenshots? Do you sometimes need to blur some of that content or obscure it? Well, I've been checking out TechSmith's Snagit 2019 and they've introduced a new feature called Simplify. Check it out with me now. I create a lot of content to show people how to do things. Step-by-step -step guides, quick reference guides, or maybe I'm just trying to show team members how to do things. I find that uh, one of the tools I use a lot is, is Snagit, and it has recently been upgraded in 2019 and introduces a new tool called Simplify. Now some of the content that I capture um, needs to be anonymized, needs to be blurred or, or obscured, and the Simplify tool uh, makes this a lot easier for me now. The blur tool has been great up until now because it allows me to just pixelate or, or blur or definitely obscure things. But the Simplify tool makes this a lot more professional and there's a few things that you can do with it to try and um, to hone and, and fine tune how you want it to look. So I'm going to take you through a few things uh, just looking at a screenshot of uh, using Microsoft Teams. We've got um, the Microsoft Teams interface, uh, we're looking at Teams and I'm just trying to capture a screenshot here to show people how to use things. So I'm going to use um, the new Snagit tool and we'll capture uh, the whole zone right here. Alright, so we're selecting that region and we'll screenshot that. Okay, so coming through to our Snagit editor um, we have now got the Simplify tool. Now I've uh, dragged it up here, it was um, introduced into the, the toolbar, but I've made it one of my favorite tools right up here and added it beside the Blur tool. Choosing Simplify, it seems to pick up on some of the colors, or I would say uh, complementary colors, if I'm going to be using it uh, to obscure content. Um, you can see that it's created a, a theme on the fly with a light grey, there's a darker purple, a blue, and I'm not sure what to call that colour. <laughs> uh, but it, it um, then offers uh, a number of different custom shapes that I can use to put over the top of some of this content. So I could just uh, use the rectangle, which we've had for some time, and uh, you know obscure something like that. Um, and then I've got a choice of been able to change that object shape. But there are other tools there now too, or other quick styles that I can use. Um, now if I was trying to obscure a person's photo, then a more appropriate um, tool or uh, stamp you might say could be the avatar stamp. So let's drag that over here and drop that on top of the, uh, the picture I'm trying to change. That's one way to do it. Um, Another couple of stamps here too for being able to uh, block out text um, is let's say I wanted to obscure the text that might be within a conversation. Then this will cover over that text. Um, you'll get the sense that yes, there is text underneath that, um, but it, it obscures it. Not only that, but as uh, Snagit have said, or TechSmith have actually said that it's it's a way of regionalizing or localizing the content or not needing to localize the content because you don't have uh, or necessarily have to have any languages and different uh, representations of characters underneath that. But there's uh, one other thing that I want to show you which uh, probably makes this job a lot faster. So let's just remove some of these um, objects. And that is the auto simplify feature. I'll flick this switch across and it will generate the objects and cover up the content on the page automatically for me. What you'll see though is um, some of it is a bit over the top, a bit overkill. Um, maybe I don't need to obscure a person's face within that graphic or, or this graphic over here. So I could go through and remove individual items, right? And say, so, yeah, I can thin that out and fine tune it. But we also have a a slider that can adjust the level of detail that has been obscured. So I can drag that down to let's say 6 in detail and that's going to change the the objects that have been generated. So now you start to see some of the text that is there uh, and some of the pictures have been um, adjusted and removed there too. 
So that's a quick way to, to do that. And then I can fine tune it and say, look, I'd, I'd like to remove uh, that there and have a nice uniform look and feel as it covers or as it reveals some of those larger graphics that are not so sensitive and, and really I don't need to obscure them. I might also go through and change up some of these blocks so that uh, let's say that the, the team itself, um, I could go through and add a picture over the top of that. So it allows me to fine tune that content and still give it a, a nice obscured look while leaving the interface there for me to be able to explain how to use it and what to do with it. Now we will just remove the uh, the simplification, so flicking off the switch. That's going to take it back to the image that we started with. Just as a comparison, I've used the blur tool in the past to cover up some content that I might want to uh, obscure or anonymize and we've got the ability to change the the type of blur that we're using um, and you know how it looks it, it might pixelate over the top of that so we'll select it change the type of blur okay but it, it looks a little messy and especially if we're trying to cover up lots of content um, with blur and um, and we're trying to anonymize that content there so it you know it it's effective it, it does achieve the result but I am I'm going to make more use of the simplify tool to try and at least indicate that there is text or pictures or avatars um, underneath and certainly the the auto um, the auto simplify switch is going to make this easier for me so if you're like me and you create content to communicate to your team members or if it's uh, content to help people out and show them steps, then consider looking at, at Snagit and the, uh, the new Simplify tool. Um, I'm going to make it one of my favorite tools to, to definitely anonymize and obscure some of that content while making it look a lot more professional than the Blur tool. See you again.